Good afternoon from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in sunny Lauderdale by the Sea. This is Brian Kuzmar and uh, up here for our daily update on precious metals. And here we go. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. There you go. Good way to start the day. And actually, that's a great way to start the day because today metal markets are up quite a bit. I'll tell you why in a minute, at least why I think they are. Uh, currently, gold is at 17.28.27, up 12 bucks. Uh, what are the ranges today? The low is 17.10, high is 17.30, at eh, $20 range or so, and that range is we've been talking about. But again, holding this 17 and a quarter quite nicely. This may be our new base. I think we're going to be looking at 17.50 as the next uh, markup, um, in my opinion. Uh, silver really making some big gains today, low of uh, 17.56 and a high of 18.02. It's just a matter of time before it cracks this $18 and kind of stays there, I believe. The silver to gold ratio is still very high. While it's not that 120 to 1, 115 to 1, it is still almost 100 to 1. So that tells me that either gold is going to come down or silver is going to come up. And I think both metal is going to go up. So I just think silver has a little more upside at this point than gold. Uh, and that, again, that's just my opinion. Platinum, 831. 822 the low, 847 the high. Um, let's see what else here. Uh, palladium, 1941 minus 15 bucks. You know, I always joke around that I don't know anything about palladium. I probably know more than most people, and that ain't an awful lot. Uh, so I don't think there's a lot of pundits or people that talk about palladium. But what I do know, and what I'm pretty certain of, that there's not much investment money in palladium. At least I don't think there is. If I if I'm wrong, someone correct me. Feel free to make a comment on this page. Uh, but I don't believe there's a lot of investment. I think it's mostly industrial driven and it has something to do with catalytic converters. And uh, that would be the reason that this price is so high. I read, and I can't confirm this, and I don't remember where I read it, but the car companies were considering moving back to platinum because of the cost. And this makes sense. Look, platinum is almost $1,000 cheaper. And the reason they originally went from platinum to palladium for catalytic converters is because it was just the opposite. Palladium was so much cheaper at the time than platinum. That's the reason they, they went to uh, palladium for catalytic converters. Now it's the complete opposite. They're putting uh, catalytic converters in using palladium. They're spending a thousand bucks an ounce more than platinum. So it's very well could be true that they may be considered switching up, but I don't know what that means uh, and, and how expensive or if it's even true. Uh, so let's move along to why I think the gold prices and silver prices are up. Well, I know why silver is, because it needs to catch up with that ratio, at least in my opinion. However, uh, oh, before I do that, people are always asking me where I get my spot prices. Well, the spot prices you're looking at right here, kind of archaic looking, but I like that it shows the high and the low. Uh, and I do have to update this and refresh this page just to show you the new prices. However, this is a paid subscription site that I'm on right here. Uh, most of you don't have access to this or will not be able to have access to it. So I'm asked oftentimes, what page do I like? I like fast markets. It's free. They update very quickly. They show a bid and ask price, which is kind of cool. I don't know how significant it is here. And they show the gold prices in all the different countries. But it's free. And, and again, it's fast. And fast markets, let me see, what's their address up? Oh, it's a long one. So if you want to pause this and write this down or cut and paste this, uh, I don't think you can cut and paste it. But if you want to write this down, I like them for their gold prices and, uh, and their silver prices. I think if you go up here into the corner and you uh, do what I just did, metals and mining, and then you go to precious metals, uh, they also do silver, as you can see, I just hit silver. And uh, I like their prices. I think they're fairly accurate as you're going to get for free numbers. Uh, more accurate than uh, uh, the companies out there that are trying to sell you stuff, which slightly jack their prices both ways. And I don't like Kitco that much either. Nothing personal. I just don't like their spot price as much. So for most people, I think Fast Markets is a good free site to use for gold and silver prices. And again, this is a page subscription service I use here. Uh, so I don't think you have uh, access to that. Uh, <clears throat> let me move on to why I think gold and silver is uh, up in uh, price here. And I think it has a lot to do with this comment right here. The Fed continues approximately 120 billion in QE. Oh my gosh, no negative interest rates or rate hikes signal. Uh, they slashed the GDP forecast. I think I saved this page here. Basically, uh, the Fed officials project no rate increases through 2022, which means 
cheap, easy money. It'll probably continue to fuel this stock market. I don't know, though. How much can, further can it fuel it? I just don't know. Uh, but uh, we're not going to see any increases, uh, rate increases, according to the Fed. And this is the Wall Street Journal, so you can pretty much say it's gospel until 2022. Does this mean that we may see negative interest rates? Well, I don't know. However, this does mean very good things for gold and silver. I think this just means that we're going to continue to see the price of gold and silver and some other hard assets to continue to increase. Um, <clears throat> and that's just my opinion again. I think we were looking, oh, quick, let me go back from that. That's where I get this page right here. Uh, and let's move around here. Well, I really think that's about it. I kind of just gave you my idea. If, if they continually have the printing presses going and going and going, it, it's just, this is like 2008 except on steroids. I mean, they're pumping way more money than they ever did in 2008. And you saw what 2008 did to the price of gold and silver. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it for me. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals, buying and selling all types of gold, silver, and platinum products, and even palladium, I have to admit. Uh, not often, though. <laughs> and we're here 10, and four, 10 to 4, Mondays through Fridays. You can call us anytime at this number. And we're local. We have a brick-and-mortar store in Lauderdale-by-the-Sea, Florida. And, again, we're here 10 to 4. Thanks for watching. I'll give you my new update tomorrow. I think we may see... Uh, a little increase, but it might be back off tomorrow a little bit as well. Again, that's just my opinion, taking a cheap shot at uh, uh, guessing what the market will be. And again, I've never been a good guesser short term, but long term, I think we're in a good position here, folks. Have a nice day.